Gentlemen, let's talk about compliments. Compliments are an amazing thing to receive as a man. We don't normally get compliments. We get one compliment a year. Pick and choose which compliment you want. Do you want it on your wardrobe? Do you want it on your fragrance? So I'm gonna go over with you the six different types of compliments. Compliments from your wife or your mom, they don't count. Some people don't think so, but they do. We're gonna first start this out with the direct compliment. This is pretty straightforward. This is, you smell nice. Wow, you smell amazing. My God, you smell remarkable. It's just basically direct line of contact. Someone tells you, you smell divine. They're nerve wracking. They are definitely nerve wracking. Imagine approaching somebody and you're a complete introvert and you're like, dude, you smell really nice. Like that's remarkable. So that is the standard. It's just the direct line of compliment. The second one, the backstabber. And we don't like these kind of compliments, not one bit, because they come from second source. The backstabbing complimenter is the worst of them all, because you walk by someone, they smell you and they're like, wow, he smells amazing. But they never let them know. If you smell someone, do not be a backstabbing compliment giver. Like if you smell someone nice, turn around. Hey, you smell really nice. Oh. And boom, you're not a backstabber. The other compliment you might get is being called, and the dreaded, you're the cologne guy. Now this could be looked at in a positive or it could be a negative. Negative, you're, if you're wearing oud for glory, you're most likely in the negative. But on the other fact, the cologne guy is more associated with smelling good or smelling anosmic. Every time you approach him, he smells like a divine angel and you just can't handle it. So good on you, gentlemen. Keep smelling amazing. If you get labeled as the cologne guy, your whole collection is pretty much beast mode. So you scored well, um, all of your cologne performs really well. People are noticing you. Keep slaying the Dragon King. Number four, we gotta talk about third party compliments. They're an amazing thing because you know rumors are circulating about you, people are getting to know you by your smell. So a third party compliment usually comes from a friend or somebody around you. Somebody's, you know, it's a third party. So you could be interacting with guy number one and guy number one is a backstabbing complimenter. So he goes to guy number three and he's like, dude, Nate smells amazing. And then guy number three is actually a real complimenter. So he'll go, back to you and say, Nate, guy number one told me that you smell really nice. And then now you know who the backstabbing complimenter is. Third party compliments are the best because it's almost like a two for, you get two for one, buy one, get one free. And that's a, that's a good deal in my book. The fifth one is the wingman compliment. This is a unique compliment. This doesn't happen every so often, but when it does happen, you deserve credit, sir. And say you're going out with your friends and all your friends come over and you guys are pre-gaming together. They smell like shit. So you're like, you know, guys, check out my fragrance wardrobe, guys. Pick out anything you like. Don't touch my initio. You know, they go through your whole collection, they pick out like Jean-Paul Gaultier La Malle Parfum or something like that, I don't know. And then you guys, you pre-game, you get your stuff together and then you go to the club and you're at the club and your friend who stole your cologne, who you offered your cologne, gets the compliment and you don't. But if you give him that fragrance to wear that night, you get the compliment. Not all heroes wear capes, gentlemen. That's you, the wingman complimenter. And the sixth and the final compliment you'll receive is love at first sniff. This happens under the radar. This happens when nobody's watching. You walk by your love interest, your crush, your beautiful dream, and you smell like Creed Royal Lude. I don't know what you guys wear. And then that person just turns to you and I'm in love. They don't say it. They don't say it. They they hold it in and they, you know, torture themselves for um, weeks on end until you text them. This is a masterpiece. If this happens to you, good on you, brother. Anyway, guys, compliments are an amazing thing. Uh, if you get one, share the love and uh, compliment somebody back. Fragrances don't just get you compliments. They also get you a lot of money too. That's a fucking lie. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope everybody knows that this is a joke. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.